Vagin with Mr. Klotzman. Well, hello and welcome to Vegin with Klotzman. I'm Ian. And I'm Tamara. And welcome to our kitchen. You know, today is July the 4th, all about freedom. And we thought, what would be a better vegetable to, to really encapsulate the ideas of freedom like squash? You can do so much with squash. You can saute it, you can grill it, you can roast it. But today we're going to use a very special squash to represent freedom. We are going to use a spaghetti squash. Get excited, friends. And before we do anything, what must we do, Tamara? Wash our hands. Go wash your hands. All right, so today for this uh, episode, we're going to be making breakfast spaghetti squash. So you're going to need one spaghetti squash. You're going to need some uh, sausage of your choice. I'm using turkey sausage. You're going to need four eggs. You're going to need cheese of your choice. I'm using kind of a cheddar blend. Over on the utensil side, now this is important, you are going to need some kind of chopping block. You're going to need, and I think this makes it easier, if you have one, get a cleaver. You're going to want a ice cream spade, and you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we're going to try to get inside this bad boy, but before we do anything, we want to make sure that we have our spaghetti squash on a towel. That way it doesn't roll around when we're trying to get to the inside of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cleaver, and I'm going to just kind of put it on top here, and then I'm going to grab a towel, and I'm going to put it over the cleaver, kind of like I'm doing a magic trick. And then I'm going to take something heavy, have like a rubber mallet or a wooden mallet, that would work too. I'm going to kind of find the middle of the knife. I'm just going to lightly tap. Keep tapping, and the knife's going to start going through. And, voila, we have cut our spaghetti squash in twain. We now have two halves of a spaghetti squash, nice and clean. Now for the next fun part, we got to get all this gook out. Now, this is where your ice cream spade comes in handy. You can do this with a spoon, you can do it with something else. I think the spade works a lot better. I'm just going to use it, and you're going to get inside of that spaghetti squash. And you're just going to take all that stuff out. All right, make sure you scrape get all the gook out. Look how easy that is with that ice cream spoon. With a spoon, this is a little harder, I think. The spade is the way to go. I mean, look at that. Now, while you're finishing this up, go have uh, your best friend, your wife, your husband, your dog, go set your oven to 400 degrees, okay? All right, now we have our two halves of sp spaghetti squash. We have it inside of like a cake pan. That way you got some nice high sides. Now, before you put this in the oven that you set to 400 degrees, we gonna need to put a little bit of oil and some seasoning in here. So all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just gonna put a little inside. I'm gonna put a little inside of this side. Now Tamara's gonna use a brush. If you want to use a brush, you can. Or if you're uh, awesome like me and you're feeling very American today, very freedom, I'm just going to use my fingers. All right? Because America, you know what I mean? I'm going to get every single nook and cranny of this spaghetti squash. Don't leave any bit unoiled or your spaghetti squash will be a communist. The last thing you do before you put these in the oven, you're going to turn these upside down. Okay, and it goes in the 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. We will see you 45 minutes. 45 minutes later. All right, now welcome back. Now these just came out of the oven. They were in there for 45 minutes. I also let them kind of cool down for about 10, 15 minutes. So a little easier to handle, but have a look at the inside of that spaghetti squash. That looks great. Tamara's is a Tamara size. Mine is an Ian size. Now, you're going to need a couple things for this next step. You're going to need some eggs. You're going to need your um, sausage. I'm using turkey sausage. You're going to want some shredded cheese. I'm using, again, a kind of triple cheddar. And then whatever kind of other spices you like. I happen to like a little hot sauce, a little tapatio you know, on top of mine. So you're going to take a fork, all right? And you're just going to kind of work the sides, work the edges, until it kind of gets that spaghetti look, right? Um, hence the name, spaghetti squash. Now, if you're having trouble doing this, 
let it cool off for a little more if it's a little too hot. You can give it some time because it's going to go back in the oven here in a second. So kind of get the sides, make sure you don't really get it too undone because you do want some structural integrity, but really give yourself a nice basket of spaghetti squash to work with. As you can kind of see with mine, tamarind is looking pretty good. Next step, once you've got it here, now it's time for the fun part, the filling. So I'm going to take just a little bit of uh, sausage. You can put as much in there as you want. You can have the kids do this. They can put whatever they want here. You can do bacon. You can do like bell peppers and onions. You can do ham. Whatever makes you happy. I happen to like turkey sausage, okay? Um, then I put some cheese in there. Now, if you don't want breakfast spaghetti squash, but you want to try the squash stuff, you can, I mean, like I said, this is all about freedom. You can try brisket. Make it like a barbecue squash. You can do sausage, smoked sausage. You could put bell peppers, onions, and chicken and make it like a fajita spaghetti squash. This is all about freedom. It's July the 4th, Declaration of Independence. I say you declare independence from boring spaghetti squash, from boring vegetables. Okay, now let that kind of mix up a bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. And again, we're using kind of a, a, a high-sided pan. That way, if it does make a mess, hey, not a big deal. Okay, and now for the fun part. You're going to take a spoon. Okay, you're going to make a little divot. I'm going to make two divots. Tamar may, may be able to make two divots. Take a look. You're going to see my divots. And then I'm going to crack an egg right into that divot. Okay? Just right on into it. Bam. We'll crack another egg because I'm having so much fun. Boom. Okay? I have cracked two eggs into the divot. I'm going to put a little, little pepper and a little salt on that egg. And then my favorite part, a little tapatio. Now, if you're not a tapatio person, that's fine. You don't have to be. Tamara's not. But again, this is, again, freedom. I am free to tapatio in my spaghetti squash. All right? Put a little basil, put a little chive, whatever makes you happy. Put it on top there. And then this is going to go back in that oven. I'm going to say about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the eggs are cooked, okay? And you'll see kind of the, the, the egg white becomes white instead of translucent. You don't want it super cooked. And you'll see why in a second. So once you start to see the egg kind of start to set, that's when you want to take it out. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes later. Okay. These just came out of the oven. took about 13 minutes for Oh my gosh, have a look at that. Mmm. Okay, now here's the secret. When you're about to eat this, here's how you do it. Lord, tell me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this. Oh, the squash is looking delish. And my mouth is saying heck yes. Oh man, look how good that looks. Oh, what is that? Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. I can't even go over how good that tastes. Tamara, how's yours? Good. Look, happy July 4th, everybody. I hope that you all take a chance to celebrate your freedoms today, but take a chance today to also celebrate freedom in the kitchen, freedom from boring food, freedom from the tyranny of sad vegetables. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you have a great July the 4th. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great 4th of July. This is Klotzman saying goodbye. I hope you have a nice day.